Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about AWS CLI or command line interface. So in the first part, we will understand what AWS CLI is and what it does and how it works. And then we will run some, uh, you know, CLI commands to actually see, uh, you know, hands on how to use AWS CLI. Okay, let's get started. First, let's understand what AWS CLI is. So according to official documentation of AWS, what it says that <coughs> AWS CLI is an open source tool that enables you to interact with AWS services using commands in your command line shell. So basically what this means is you can interact with your AWS services. I mean, in uh, many ways. So one way is to actually using uh, AWS management console here. So you can come to this console and you can, you know, click on, you know, S3 and you can create a bucket here or you can, you know, uh, list the files of the uh, you know files in that bucket and you know you can do lots of stuff you can interact with aws services using your management console so this is one way to interact with aws services so similarly cli gives you a way to interact with your aws services using commands okay so you don't need to actually come here and you know see open the management console and you know uh, see what buckets are present in your uh, aws okay you can just run a command and get that so that is what aws cli does for you okay so with that basic understanding of what aws cli is let's uh, look, take a look at you know uh, some syntaxes and uh, how to use aws cli so to do that i'll take you to this aws cli command line command reference okay so this page has basically everything all the details of all the syntaxes that are available all the commands that are available and the syntaxes for each of the commands what parameters you need to pass to uh, you know uh, run those commands so uh, you can refer to this aws cli command reference always so if you see here in this page aws has listed you all the available services i mean on which you can run your aws cli commands so um for practice purposes let's uh, take a look at s3 service and run some you know cli commands on s3 service okay so if you see here uh, if you click on s3 this is what it shows so it shows all the you know command commands available under s3 service using cli okay so let's take a look at some basic commands i'll click on this ls so ls stands for basically list okay um so let's run this sample command okay it is simple command aws s3 ls and see how it works so basically to run any aws command the syntax will usually be your uh, aws and then the service name basically the service with which you are interacting and then the command it can be list move copy uh, if, if it is s3 or if it is like ec2 it can be like you know create instance or terminate instance or anything like that okay so let's run this command uh, in the cli and uh, see what happens okay so to run the command uh, you can you know in your management console you can click on this cloud shell okay this icon which is present here or you can search for the cloud shell service and open it okay so uh, let me click on this icon so when you click on that icon what happens is aws creates an you know environment for you to run your aws cli commands okay so this is how it is so now let me run that command aws s3 ls okay so when i ran the command it gave me the list of you know buckets that are present in my aws account okay so if you see here if i come to my uh, s3 console this is the only bucket that is present in my uh, s3 console and it listed uh, that okay so now what if you want to uh, basically list all the files which are inside this bucket okay so uh, let's go here so if you see here inside my bucket there is only one file called uh, you know, json data.json so how to listen so what we do for that is, is aws s3 ls and then you pass a parameter which is your bucket name so what happens is it lists all the files which are present inside that bucket okay so if i paste the bucket name here and click enter so if you see here it is uh, showing me the files which are present inside my uh, s3 bucket so basically that's how you uh, you know run the list command of aws s3 so let's take uh, some of the uh, take a look at some of the other commands that are present in aws s3 now uh, let's create an act, uh, create one more bucket using aws cli okay so to do that i can just google aws create bucket cli and uh, it will show you the command to do that okay <coughs> so let's create an aws bucket using command line interface okay so basically uh, i mean this is these are the examples you can uh, refer to to create your bucket so let's use this to uh, you know create a bucket okay so let me just format this better So basically what we are passing is we are just saying aws uh, s3 api 
create bucket and a bucket name uh, let's call this uh, you know my new test bucket one two three something so that like i mean uh, the name is available and the region uh, i'll just leave it as us east one itself okay so let's run this command and see if uh, it creates the bucket okay hit enter here okay so if you see here uh, it gave some response so let's go to s3 console and see if it created the bucket okay so yeah if you see here now this uh, bucket is created so that is how you create a bucket using aws uh, cli so now let's do one thing let's copy this file uh, which is present in this bucket uh, the first bucket into the second bucket the new bucket that we created so let's see uh, how to do that so in this aws s3 cli command reference click on the cp so basically cp stands for copy so um, that is, you can use this command to copy files from one bucket to another bucket or even to like coming from s3 to your uh, ec2 instance or anything like that okay so let's use this cp command uh, copy the bucket i mean copy the file from one bucket to another so do that we do aws s3 cp and the first uh, argument is your source bucket source path okay so let me take this and copy s3 uri so this is my source path paste and uh, next the second argument is your destination basically where do you want to copy it to so so if you see here now this bucket is empty let me copy this and paste it here so this is my destination path um actually we need to give a uh, s3 here s3 okay so this is how you need to pass the parameters so once you have given aws s3 cp source uh, source path and the destination path click on enter So you see that you know copy command was successful now let's go back here and see if the file was copied to this bucket so if you see yes it was copied so that is how you use a copy command so basically i mean uh, like this depending on your requirement uh, you can you know run any of the commands so basically if, i mean no one can remember all the commands you can always refer to the documentation itself and you know find the command and the parameters that you need to pass to that command using the documentation itself so um yeah that's how you uh, basically uh, use aws cli for s3 service so similarly you can use you know the commands that are available for other services as well so um just to give you an example let's take uh, the example of lambda service so in this page uh, let me find the lambda and we'll run the some some cli commands related to lambda okay so this is your lambda and what are the commands so there, these are the uh, commands available for that function okay so first let's see i mean uh, list functions okay so basically this command uh, lists the all the lambda functions that are available in your account okay so first let me uh, go to the lambda console and show you what are the functions that are available in my account okay okay i just have one lambda function in my account okay so let's use this command and see if it uh, returns the proper result okay here uh, so if you notice here we are using the lambda service here so when you are run, running commands related to s3 you are using aws s3 now we are using aws lambda and uh, you know so basically aws is a constant and then the service name and then basically your uh, function name the command basically you pass okay so let's run this command so if you see here now it listed the you know lambda function so if you see here the function name is test lambda function and you know so like the, all the details related to the function came here so um that's how you use uh, aws lambda so let's see another command for aws lambda let's try to uh, invoke the lambda using command line okay so for that i will use invoke command so if you see here uh, this is the syntax for invoke command okay so uh, let's invoke the command i mean uh, lambda using our command line okay so i'll just do uh, i mean copy this so i'm not going to pass any payload or anything like that so i'll just copy this uh, command entirely and i'll remove the things that i don't need okay so let me format this okay so the function name uh, you need to pass here which is uh, this one test lambda function 
so basically if you see here the command uh, to that so you can always refer to the documentation and you know even i don't remember any of the commands right we just like come in uh, refer to the documentation and find the command appropriate command which we need to run for the requirement that we might have okay so if you see here this is aws lambda invoke and this is uh, cli binary format raw and then the function name we are passing as test lambda function and response to json okay so let's paste this and run this command okay and see if it invokes the lambda okay so it says status code 200 um let's go here and see if it invoke the lambda actually okay uh, let's go to monitor okay click on uh, we vlogs in cloudwatch here and if you see here it actually invoked the lambda just now okay so um yeah that's how you can i mean use aws cli commands to interact with uh, you know aws services so it's just a way to interact with AWS services using a command line instead of actually going to the console and interacting with AWS services. So you can also automate a lot of stuff, uh, you know, using uh, scripts in which you have your AWS CLI commands. So I hope I was able to give you uh, some quick introduction about the CLI and, you know, also some, uh, you know, hands on practice on how to use the CLI commands. Okay. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found the video helpful, please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.